Well, today we're going to use a completely different method to recover this device. Since it had a screen lock, and what we did was reset our phone. We formatted it. After formatting it, we were left with the Google account. The Gmail account. What are we going to do in this video tutorial? Well, today we're going to use a completely different method to recover our device since it has a screen lock. Also with the forgotten Gmail account. As we can see, this device is completely outdated. These methods no longer work when sharing. They also no longer work when we entered emergency calls and from there we entered Google Maps. They are now completely updated. In order to recover our device we are going to do the following. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to start this process. We are going to connect to our network and from here we are going to be able to recover our device. Today we are going to do a different method. We are going to use what is a totally updated tool. So that our device can be recovered correctly. For those people who suddenly uh do not want to use the PC. We also have methods without a PC, we have left different methods. Various methods both in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment we also have an updated method. Method without PS, having said that I also want to tell you that we have the session. The community of members of our YouTube channel for those people who are always supporting us and the new users who always uh can recover their device can also support us uh by joining what is this community of members and so we are going to be able to uh grow a little more. We are going to click here where it says do not copy here we are going to see our device that has a screen lock. Also finally it has the Gmail account. The program that we are going to use today we are going to explain to you step by step what you have to do as we always recommend before running. The tool to disable what is the antivirus temporarily since this helps us so that our program does not deactivate the antivirus that detects it as a virus then. Blocks then deactivated the antivirus will let us run that tool. We will click here where it says use a Google account. Here we will be able to uh, see that our device has that screen lock lock also with the Gmail account. We are going to go to the APC. Well the first thing we are going to do is a uh, look for our antivirus. And we are going to click on it v we are going to go to deactivate our antivirus we are going to go here where it says virus and threat protection. Then we are going to go down here we are going to be able to find this configuration that says manage settings. We are going to click here we are going to temporarily deactivate. The first option we are going to deactivate we have it deactivated. After it is completely deactivated we are going to go to what is our browser. We go to our browser here we are going to write. We are going to write the following, we are going to write Davidsil exactly as it appears here on the screen. As we can see we are going to write exactly as it appears here. Then we are going to select the first option that says Android DTV or Dicel either of the two options. We are going to click on our official page and from here it takes us to the page. Here we have several methods for those people who also want to apply any of these methods they will have it available here. Also what we are going to do is select the last option that says Evidcell apps of easel applications. Either of those two options we are going to select it. Then here what we are going to do is go down. Let's go down. Here we will be able to find other methods also updated. 
We will go down here we will be able to find the tool. It will be here, and we have the tool that we are going to use in this video tutorial. This is the tool, we download it. After we download it we can run it because we have already deactivated what is the antivirus temporarily. Since we have deactivated our antivirus, we go to it and run the tool. Correctly here we have other totally different methods. We have for devices mediated processors, Qualco, Unisoft, also other models. Which would be Huawei Infinite, Samsung Vivo and so on. We are going to select our processor which would be this mediate. What are we going to do? We are going to click here where it says reset PRP. But before that you have to install the driver, we click here on driver. As the processor is media T, we select mediate, we install it correctly. We also have the CPD drivers also which with Samsung driver. As also this lip USB C USB is a very important driver I recommend. That you install this driver helps us. Helps us EH when we run the program and the driver is not installed correctly. It will appear you are going to click here where it says install here. The driver should appear if it was not installed correctly when it appears here what you are going to click and you are going to click on install if the program does not recognize it. We are going to run the program, we run the program. We place it here, now what we have to do is turn off our phone. We turn it off, we are going to wait here we are not going to press any button. We are going to only wait 10 seconds when 10 seconds pass we are going. To insert the USB cable be aware if the drive appears here if it is not. Installed correctly it will appear here. The program will recognize it, I have the driver, you will click on it. You will click here on install. The driver, it will be installed correctly, you click accept, here it appeared that. The USB cable is not recognized but the driver did recognize our device. Let's leave it like that. We will not touch it, let it appear file. We got file here, well, now we are going to disconnect it. We are going to do the process again. Let's wait, well, we are going to wait for our phone to completely restart. When our phone starts we are going to turn it off. We count those 10 seconds that our phone is completely off. We go back and do the process again. We turn off again, count the 10 seconds and we are going to insert the USB cable. Now that we installed the drivers it will recognize it. We wait, we wait to see if this time it recognizes it. If not, I would touch the USB cable and it does not enter correctly. I'm going to change the cable. File came out. I'm going to change the USB cable and we do it with another one. We're going to go back again, we change the cable, we introduce. The USB cable, let's hope that this time it works correctly. Here the driver appeared, if it appears again click on install, click on install. Then again here it came out that it is not recognizing the USB cable, something is happening. It usually happens sometimes that the USB port of the phone may have a problem. Then we are going to disconnect it again. It will turn on and we turn it off again and we do it again. We are going to turn it over now on this side. We try again, we try again.
We try again, we try again. We wait, we are going to wait. Now that it shows us the logo then what we are going to do. Then press the power button because it is not working. It is not working, we are going to. The brawn mode is not working well what we are going to do then. Is connected with the ignition we connected and we are going to turn it off now. We are going to do the reverse we turn it off now and we hope. That it recognizes it we are going. To turn it off. We wait. We hope that this time it works. We will see. We are going to wait a few more seconds to see if this time it works. And it seems that it is not working. Well, as we see that from here it is no longer working. Then we are going to click here and we are going to search for our. We are going to search here for Xiaomi. I am going to select Xiaomi here I. I am going to select my model. I am going to search for my model here. We are going to search for our model. I am going to select it. We select it. Now we click on reset FRP again. We are going to wait for it to come out here. Ready. Now we go back again. Now I am going to turn it off and I am going to see if this time. If it works from 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 this way to see if it works this way. Wait it seems that. The time is up here, we ran out of time. We are going to start again, we are going to wait for it to start, let's do it then off. We do it off, we hit reset. We are going to connect it off. We wait. Let's see, now it is working this way. As you can see, our model is working, I think that now it is working. Since it gave me what was successful the process. So what we have to do if it does not work for you. EH selecting your processor of your device of your model. If it doesn't work for you by selecting the processor then you have to. Select the model, so it will give us. The recovery of our device, that. S why it's advisable to always watch the video tutorial. Do not fast forward it so you don't miss any of these details. Because if we fast forward our video tutorial. If it fast forwards it will click here on skip. Well we'll go back. We'll go back, we'll disconnect it. We'll click here on forget password, we click here on. Forget password. Now we click on skip. We click on skip, we click accept. We click here on skip. We click accept, next. Next here it would be that. Our hard device has been fully recovered. Well uh we tried several methods since from our processor. It worked for those people who have that processor and if why why. Yes and if it works for you, leave a comment so we can uh see also. Write the model of your phone if which model worked for you if you had. To choose your model. Okay, here we are. Let's wait for the arrow option to appear and from there it will take us to home.
Another thing I also want to mention is that when we do this process, our phone has some errors. What do we have to do? Well, to correct these errors, what we have to do is go to settings. Here in settings, we will find the following section. Let's go to settings. We select here. Here we will find the reset option. Here we will reset everything. We click here on reset. We click on factory reset and when our phone restarts, our device will be fully recovered.